The Oakland strike is moving into day two this morning. Thousands of city workers walked off the job yesterday. KPIX 5's Jessica Flores is live outside City Hall this morning with more. Jessica. 3,000 city workers are striking again today. We expect to see hundreds here at City Hall picketing. They were in picket lines yesterday, and already a, a couple of folks have come out with some signs here. Unions representing workers in non emergency services, including public works and parking enforcement, say the strike comes as months of contract negotiations broke down. Now, the main sticking point is wages. The union wants a guaranteed 8% raise over the two year period. The city is offering up to to a 6% raise over two years, but here's the catch. The second year is tied to revenue growth. We're like 10% behind other jurisdictions in the surrounding Bay Area. They make about 10% more than we do. I recognize their frustration, but I cannot spend money I don't have. Now, Mayor Libby Schaaf says that the strike is unlawful because the two sides haven't officially declared an impasse. The union says the strike is protected and the city could file a lawsuit to get a court order to end the strike. Meanwhile, today, residents will go without Head Start programs, libraries, senior centers, recreation centers, street sweeping, among other city services. Now, firefighters and police officers are still working, schools are still open, but the union representing all the Non emergency workers says the strike will continue until the two sides head back to the bargaining table. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.